So I made a better first aid kit up and um, this is a shovel uh, for your folding folding shovel that I took off of a molly pack. Uh, it just straps to my Alice pack right back here. Um, so I converted it to a to a, uh, a first aid kit. So obviously I always got my whistle. Uh, it's just a cheap old whistle. Uh, probably end up getting a better one someday. But um, so if I fall down in the woods, anything like that, I can at least signal for help right off the bat if I'm really seriously injured and can't get up. Um, so in this kit, I have a few items that I want to go over with you. And what I want to talk about also is if you don't have access to these items, you can substitute these items for any natural thing in the woods if you if you can find it. Now the problem is is if you're really really hurt, you may not be able to get access to these in the wilderness. You may not get access to uh, to you know you might not have moss around you. You can't you can't get to it or you can't. Uh, it's not within reaching distance if you have uh, a broken leg and you can't walk or or anything. So to have these are are. I mean, absolutely a lifesaver in that situation, but they can be substituted for things out in the wilderness. But um, anyway, I just have a uh, a roll of bandage. Um, uh, this is used to roll uh, roll up splints, uh, to lash spl uh, splints to your legs, uh, to roll up sprains. Um, if you have like a compound fracture or anything like that, you can splint and then roll over the top of it with this. So it's just a roll of bandage. Um, these are really, really, really nice. These are SAM splints. And what's really, really cool about these is they, they're they bendable, they form. So they'll form right to right to any limb here's a four here's a forearm so ulna radius there's another ulna radius um, demonstration of a splint and there's an actual ankle and uh, tib fib uh, demonstration of splint so they bend so they can form so let's say I, I fell down broke my ulna radius what I want to do is roll this up and put my hand on top of that. And that's called the um, the position of function, so I wanna keep my hand in that. And then I can form this up, actually, around my arm. So I can set my arm in there, form it up and around my arm, and then wrap it with this. So that's a good splint. You can use it for your ankles, your legs. Uh, these are so versatile. Uh, and what that is in there is a piece of, uh, I think it's like, it's some kind of bendable metal, like aluminum or something, I forget. Um, reusable, they're waterproof. Really, really nice to, uh, to invest in something like that. You can roll it up, real lightweight, doesn't take up a lot of room. Really good. Now, in the wild, or in, in nature, um, Obviously, your sticks are going to um, going to take the place of that Sam splint. So you can make splints out of these. Um, you know, you can strap one to the side of your leg here, one to the other side of your leg, and you can then wrap that up. Um, now, if you didn't have this, you could uh, sacrifice your shirt, wrap your shirt around it. Um, the good thing about the moss, with the moss, is that these sticks are not going to be very comfortable, especially if you have a compound fracture. Now with the compound fracture, you're not going to want to move that leg all over the place, you know, because um, you're going to be worried about severing arteries and blood vessels and everything else with, uh, with that bone. Uh, that bone's going to be sharp, it's going to be out of your leg, or even if it's a not an open fracture but a you know a broken leg where the the shard of bone is sticking out you you don't want to move that leg a lot hence the reason we splint because you don't want to sever those arteries in there okay but if you um, 
what I was going to say is with these splints, you can pad the voids with this. So one on each side of the leg. And I can even do this by myself. You know, I don't have to have a, a guy with me or anybody with me to, to help me do this. You know, I can, I can fabricate one of these in the woods if I need to. And then I'm just going to tie my shirt around that or sacrifice one of my sleeves, cut it off with my knife and wrap it around there. Okay. I want to make sure my toes wiggle. I want to make sure I have a pulse in my, in my pee, you know, in my, um, in my foot. I want to make sure I'm still perfusing down there and everything. Um, that's getting into the more advanced um, life support, but um, <laughs> thanks, buddy. I was running. That's getting into the more advanced life support, uh, but in a in a in a pinch, and if you 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 know you're out there, you're alone, you can do this, and you can um, also fabricate a crutch out of a stick. Put your weight on that and crawl out, okay? If you needed to. Um, but that's good uh, example of a good splint. You can also, you know, if I got a cut on my arm, and uh, or or a um, on the radius sticking out after I broke it, set this moss right on top of it. Don't try to put the bone back in the skin. Don't manipulate the bone at all. Just let it sit there. Put this over the top of it. Check and see if you have movement. Okay. Um, and you're going to want to reassess that all the time. Make sure you have movement and pulses, obviously. Um, set this right on top. Sacrifice a sleeve of my shirt. Um, and tie that as tight as I can around there. You want to hold pressure to stop the bleeding, of course. Um, and bleeding control, pressure, and bandages is the number one way to go. You don't want to be burning your arm with your fire or anything like that. Uh, you run a really high risk of uh, infection doing that. Um, so you want to find you some moss uh, and place on top of that, wrap it real tight. Uh, there's other plants that can help you out in bleeding control as well. Um, and we'll go over those here in just a minute. But that's splinting. So splinting's real easy. Um, see them splint? I suggest you go get get one of these on Amazon they're not very expensive and they'll save you they'll save your life and they'll save your limbs too I mean if you got a broken limb and you, and you try to walk out with a broken leg uh, out of the woods no you know you're probably a mile or two away uh, you could damage your your legs forever you know to where you can't walk again so get a splint um, you never know when you're gonna need it and uh, Learn how to fabricate fab, fabricate a splint in the wild. Um, obviously, with this, I'd want to trim these off. You know, and the thing is, when you're hurt, when you're really gonna be hurt out there, uh, walking, and you do fall, and you're hurt to where you do have a broken limb. First thing is you're gonna be pretty scared uh, your heart rates gonna be up your respiration is gonna be up and your blood pressure is gonna be up um, the most important thing you can do and the hardest thing to do is gonna be to try to calm yourself so you need to put in your mind that you know you're gonna be alright you're gonna make it you can you, you you have the knowledge to fabricate some splints to uh, keep yourself alive or to at least fix it until you can get some help um, you need to have that mindset uh, just like if you get lost in the woods you need to have a mindset of you know okay listen I do know the I do know how to survive in the woods if I have to overnight or, or for even a couple of days so you need to calm yourself so that's the most important thing so work on calming yourself at that point and then um, your blood pressure will go down, your heart rate will go down, and um, your respirations will go down, and then and therefore you can con help control that bleeding, help control that panic feeling, and you can actually save your own ass um, by doing that. Of course, that is the hardest thing to do because you are hurt, you are in the wild, you are by yourself, um, so that's definitely hard. Um, 
I haven't had to do that, uh, but I have had to coach people uh, through that, especially in my profession as a paramedic. Um, so I've had to coach people through that. So it's it's tough, um, but splinting it can save your can save your limb, can save your life, and um, you you know you want to splint uh, you want to you want to check for movement before you splint up your leg, your arm. You want to check for movement afterwards. Check for a pulse. And um, wrap it up real tight and, and get yourself out of that situation. So you can use the moss to do that. You can use uh, sticks, anything that's around you. Um, and the Sam splint like I talked about. And then get yourself some rags. A rag comes in handy for tying the splints, tying wounds, lacerations, and also a roll of this... Uh, a roll of this uh, cling, this um, wrap. So that's splinting in a nutshell. Um, leave your comments. Um, thanks for your support. I really appreciate it. And um, we'll see you on the next first aid uh, video.